हेलो फ्रेंड्स माय सेल्फ प्रोफेसर तुषार गुजराती फ्रॉम मेस एंड डी कॉलेज ऑफ इंजीनियरिंग एंड रिसर्च सेंटर यवला टुडे विल डिस्कस द टॉपिक बेस्ड ऑन पी एल सी दैट इज प्रोग्रामिंग ऑफ पी एल सी सो हाउ प्रोग्रामिंग ऑफ पी एल सी टेक्स प्लेस वॉट आर द स्टेप्स इन प्रोग्रामिंग वॉट आर द इनपुट आउटपुट डिवाइसेस ओके सो ऑल दीज थिंग्स वी आर गोइंग टू स्टडी नाउ सो प्रोग्रामिंग ऑफ पी एल सीज सो वट इज फर्स्ट पॉइंट हियर फर्स्ट पॉइंट इज लैडर लॉजिक सो वी नीड लैडर लॉजिक वाइल प्रोग्रामिंग द पी एल सी इफ वी वॉन्ट टू कंट्रोल एनी मशीन एट द टाइम वी रिक्वायर सम लॉजिक फॉर कंट्रोलिंग दैट मशीन सो वी यूज लैडर लॉजिक फॉर सच अ प्रोग्रामिंग ओके ना सेकेंड पॉइंट इज फंक्शन ब्लॉक डायग्राम इट इज यूज फॉर प्रोसेस कंट्रोल सपोज वी वॉन्ट टू कंट्रोल एनी प्रोसेस एट द टाइम वी रिक्वायर सम ब्लॉक डायग्राम हाउ the process occurs means step by step how process occurs so that's why we need function block diagram of each and every processes okay and third point is we need ladder diagrams because they resemble a ladder with two vertical rails and as many rungs as there are control circuits to represent so now we call plc programming as ladder diagram so it resembles as a ladder okay so ladder has two vertical lines and in between them horizontal lines so here in plc the two vertical rails are called as supply power lines so those are supply power lines and the horizontal lines are called as rungs okay so like this so here in this diagram l1 and l2 are nothing but vertical lines those are called as supply power lines and between these two vertical lines there is one horizontal line that is called as rung so there is only one rung is shown right now so rung consists of input output devices so here in this case on left hand side switch is provided so that is input device and on right hand side lamp is shown which is output device okay so this is ladder diagram so now we'll see how ladder diagram scanning takes place okay so now this is uh, structure of ladder diagram just i have shown to you it is only structure of ladder diagram so you can see here there are four rungs are provided means four horizontal lines are available rung 1 rung 2 rung 3 rung 4 these are four horizontal lines and two vertical lines that is left power rail and right power rails okay so how scanning of input and output devices takes place here okay so it takes place from left side to right side like this okay so here mentioned that is power flow power flow takes place from left side to right side and from one rung to another rung so like this they have mentioned okay so when first rung is scanned then we go to second rung and then second rung is scanned then third rung is scanned then last rung so like this we scan all the rungs and we go to at the end towards end rung okay so like this program gets finished and we again go back to first and again program can be started from first rung okay so like this scanning of ladder diagram takes place <clears throat> now here we have shown to you one rung that is ladder diagram rung okay so you can check here first ladder diagram or first rung which consists of one input and one output okay so in first rung what happens whatever input device is there whatever the contact is used it is normally open contact okay so it is normally open contact no normally open contact so right now in this case what happens the output device is off because the contact used is here open okay so when we give some input supply to this contact okay so like this suppose we are given some input supply to this contact what will happen this normally open contact will get converted to normally closed contact okay it will get closed and output will get some generated output will get generated that's why here we have shown output also okay so like this happens when we give input at the time normally open contact gets normally closed and output get generated okay <coughs> similarly now you check second case now in second case the contact used 
over here it is normally closed okay so what happens here the output is continuously produced because switch is closed already that's why the power can flow from left side to right side that's why output is on right now okay output is on now suppose i am giving some input supply to this normally closed contact what will happen this normally closed contact will get normally open okay so it will get normally open and what will happen this power supply will get, get, get the power supply will get cut from this position and output will get off this output will get off that's why i have shown here nothing okay that's why it is off now okay so very simple thing is there when you give some input when you give some input at the time what happens normally open contacts gets normally closed okay and also normally closed contact gets normally open okay other if you do not apply input at that time this basic condition will remain as it is this initial condition or initial states will remain as it is when you apply inputs at that time these conditions gets changed okay <coughs> now we'll see elements of ladder diagram so here i have shown to you this is contact relay this is contact relay so this is related to relay coil whatever this symbol is there cr1 it is related to relay coil and this coil is connected to these two switches okay this is normally open switch and this is normally closed switch or they are called as normally open contact and normally closed contact okay these are relay contacts they are called as relay contacts so like these symbols are used for relay coil and relay contacts now here this is the symbol for motor this is the symbol for solenoid and this is the symbol for light okay now timer relay so timer also consist of one coil that's why timer coil is shown something like this tr1 and timer contacts are shown with the help of this symbol normally open and normally closed okay so you should remember all these symbols while drawing ladder diagram okay now these are another symbols used for ladder diagram or these are elements of ladder diagram so you check here first one is monetary action push button so push button is denoted by pb1 and pb2 so there are two cases now this first case is normally open and this second case is normally closed okay so there are two positions of each switch normally open and normally closed okay now second is limit switch physical limit switch the symbol is something like this okay so they are denoted by ls1 ls2 that is normally open and normally closed then next switch is pressure limit switch the symbol is like this normally open normally closed then temperature limit switch the symbol is something like this and last one is level limit switches so symbol is like this normally open and normally closed so while drawing ladder diagram you have to remember all these symbols okay <clears throat> now we'll see ladder diagram for and logic okay how we can draw ladder diagram for and logic so you know the and gate which is used in electronics so its symbol is like this okay it has two input and one output so here a and b is input and output is uh, suppose anything uh, output is is suppose y okay so the equation for and gate is y is equal to a into b so multiplication of both the inputs is nothing but output so we are going to take conditions if both the inputs are zero zero so multiplication is zero that's why output is zero if one input is one that is a is zero and b is one at that time output is zero because multiplication is zero third condition if a is input one and b is zero at that time output is zero and if suppose both the inputs are one then output will be one okay so like this we have truth table for and get so ladder diagram for this is something like this so here we have used two inputs a and b and here is one output okay so we have to satisfy all these conditions 
so when both the inputs are zero zero okay when inputs are zero zero the these contacts which are normally open will remain normally open and switch whatever output is there it will not get generated okay so suppose if you give input to any one switch suppose condition number 2 if you give input to only one, uh, one device that is b it will get closed okay it will get closed but what will happen the supply cannot move further because this is open okay that's why output will be zero similarly next case suppose a input is closed but b is open that's why supply cannot go further and output is zero over here okay so next case suppose both the switch are closed simultaneously a and b what will happen supply can go here and your output will be one okay so like this the ladder diagram is available for and logic so what is written here the lamp energizes only if contact a and contact b are simultaneously actuated if both the contacts are simultaneously actuated a and b at the time you will get output that is lamp will get on okay so this is the logic for and get now similarly we will study for or get or or logic okay so the symbol for or get is something like this okay and equation for or get is y is equal to a plus b now in this case we have to do addition so suppose both inputs are zero addition will be zero if suppose one of the input is one at the time output is one if both the inputs are one what will happen the output is one okay so addition is 0 plus 1 1 okay now you will say that suppose 1 plus 1 it is equal to 2 actually okay but in binary numbers we assume that 1 plus 1 is equal to 1 only okay so in binary number you have to remember this it will not 2 it will be only 1 okay so now we have used here two inputs okay we have taken those inputs in parallel a and b okay and here it is output so suppose both the inputs are open means as it is no input is given what will happen the output lamp will be off okay so suppose one of the contact i have closed suppose i have con closed contact a what will happen the lamp will get open or lamp will get on suppose i have closed only b what will happen the supply can go like this lamp will get on and suppose both the switches are closed simultaneously the supply can go like this also and like this also and lamp will get on so like this our conditions are satisfied so what is our conclusion the lamp energizes if either of contact a or contact b are actuated either means what any one contact is either in it on what will happen lamp will get on okay this is the logic for or gate now next not gate or not logic okay so not means what we have to do reverse action suppose it has only one input and only one output and this is the symbol for or gate so its equation is y is equal to a bar okay output is equal to a bar suppose a is 0 at the time output should be 1 and if a is 1 output should be 0 so like this condition should be there so ladder diagram i have shown here so in the ladder diagram i will use only one input because there is only one input for such a gate so and we are going to use this input as normally closed we have already taken normally closed okay so now suppose if no input is applied okay no input is applied at the time this normally closed will remain as it is normally closed and the light will get on okay this is the condition for first case when no input is applied that is zero case at the time our output is one okay are you getting my point suppose condition is first case zero zero means what no input is given means it will remain as it is normally closed and supply can go like this and our, your output will be one okay and suppose you are taking second condition one zero so here one means what supply is given at the time this switch switch will get open like this and supply cannot go further and that's why here will get condition zero and light will remain off okay so when you give supply normally closed contact will get open and light will get off okay so what is the conclusion the lamp energizes 